this is Craig, your family pastor, and welcome to the first 20. Today we're going to dive into an Old Testament teaching. There's some really some classics in the Old Testament, some crazy stories, and this is one of my favorite. Uh, you may not have heard it before, we're going to, we're going to go for it. And I'll read a little bit to you and just go back and forth as I read. It's 2 Kings 20, 1 to 11. We're not going to go all the way through 11. Probably going to hang around verse 5 a bit and then teach a little bit in that space. So, first one. About the time Hezekiah became deathly ill, and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to visit him. He gave the king this message. You ready for this message? Okay. This is what the Lord says. Set your affairs in order, for you are going to die. You will not recover from this illness. And just straight, boom. You're, you're going to die. Clean up your stuff. You're on your way. When Hezekiah heard this, he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O Lord, how I've always been faithful to you and have served you single-mindedly, always doing what pleases you. Then he broke down and wept bitterly. He pleaded for the Lord and said, Hey, I'm your man. I've always worked hard for you. I've always done what is right for you. And then he just started crying. But before Isaiah left the middle courtyard, this message came to him from the Lord. Go back to Hezekiah, leader of my people, and tell him, This is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David says. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. I will heal you. And three days from now, you will get out of the bed, go to the temple of the Lord, I will add 15 years to your life and I will rescue you. This city from King Isaiah. I will defend the city for my honor and for the sake of my servant David. It goes on and I'll, 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 I'll read the last little bit for you as it goes on. Um, but let's just pause there. In, in verse 5, he, he does what often we do when we hear terrible news. He, he pleads and, and, and cries before the Lord. And I think that's, that's a natural thing to do, is to go before our Father and we plead and we, 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 we cry before Him. And when it comes to this idea of healing, which is what we want to speak about today, there's a couple of different things that happen. As we plead before the Lord, I've seen people being instantaneously healed. Uh, I've seen people have to go through a process to be healed. And I've seen people who have passed who, and who haven't been healed. But what I do know is when we engage in prayer with our Heavenly Father and we plead on 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 him in the space that we can do nothing about. He always moves. How he moves and when he moves, we don't know that because we're not God. But we always know that he moves. In this particular case, he actually hears the prayer of the servant and actually extends his life for 15 years. And I just want to make sure as we enter this place is that when we are praying, especially in for this area of healing, is that we aren't God. We don't get to demand things of, of him that we want. But we do get to rest in Him and take the anxiety and the pain and the frustration of something that we don't have control of, especially when it comes to a healing of, of death. But we give it to Him and we release it to Him. And then we pray. We pray strong prayers. We have, we have great faith in asking Him to heal us from whatever the thing is that we are, are struggling with. But there are no guarantees. In the, in the examples in the Bibles, there's, there's times when people do pass and when they've been prayed for. But the beauty of the healing is that God, if you are uh, His child and you've chosen Him for yourself, you will be healed. And that healing may happen when you pass and go see Him, but you will be healed. So as we close off today, this verse actually is it's a very interesting one. There's, a, there's a, a prescript of what it is we should do. We should be on our face. We should be in prayer. We should cry and petition before the Lord and then leave it in His hands and allow Him to be God and to do what's best for us. I pray God's peace and presence on you. And if you are asking for healing, that you will press in and know that God is working and working on your behalf. God bless, guys.